Loango's back, and uh, unlike yesterday, I'm not extremely tired. So maybe we won't play like dog dirt. Yes, I remember yesterday. I remember flailing about. Like a one-armed toddler trying to beat Mali, Yolof, and some other backwater countries. But we can all just <coughs> collectively forget that happens and maybe run the game at a great speed until we get our uh, manpower back. Great way to kick it off, get rivaled by Spain. I agree that our manpower uh, reserves do need to recover, however, so does my... Uh, well, my ambition for taking more land is not going to be sated that easy. So we've been committing a lot of minocide for this entire campaign. Our tech is pretty garbage. Our ideas are lacking. But at least we're Western tech now. So how about a quick recap? <clears throat> we are Loango. We started out with one province. Hey, it's even got one more development that it started as. First thing we did was annex Congo. We got Ndongo Heck. as a vassal through that, even though we got our capital occupied in that war. We sold, we pretty much partitioned Congo between the two of us, integrated them, and now, much to our delight, what is autonomy? At least down in this region, less, less said about that, the better. We came up here, we conquered Benin, we made the Dahomey our loyal vassal. Uh, we bro-opt bro -opt with Zazel and just took over this land, and took over it we did. Get seen as our new Sunni vassal. We ourselves turned Sunni as quickly as we could. I can't remember the name of the guy we integrated for that. Oh, Kano, how could I forget you? So, <clears throat> we consider, we continue to keep our stranglehold on, uh, oh, just the guy that I need, for getting this integrated faster. We continued with our stranglehold in Central Africa, and we shall continue with it, but the most important thing, and we've already managed it, is cut off European expansion into these guys. The less we have to deal with them, the better. I want to stop the Europeans from pretty much getting all of this coastline, but that is a uh, pretty lofty goal for Loango. It's more of a Congo goal. <coughs> At the very least, we were able to seal the Cape first. Don't mind even if they take Loanda that much but I would love to stop them being able to get over here, so priority one is taking this coastline, um, the Madagascar Islands, and it will be fine. All the way to Diego Garcia, and maybe like one province so we get the uh, East Asian trade port bonus. <clears throat> Otherwise, we are doing extremely well, dare I say so myself. Unfortunately, my vassals just are not getting the... Uh, lands I want them to. May as well. If Spain hate us, we may as well claim to hate them as well. Unfortunately, Spain is allied with a truce with France? Why would you have a truce with France? That makes little sense. But yes, Spain has some heavy hitting alliances. And I don't think we're going to be punching through that. Great Britain hate our guts as well. Portugal, they're probably not too impressed after what we did to them. Ah, stuck Spain on them. France, certainly less than impressed, and even if I could get an alliance, uh, my personal rules forbid me from doing that. So, we are more or less on our own down here. We never needed them. What we do really need is some dip tech, but I also really need these ideas. If I get, like, more exploration ideas, I can get an extra colonist. Maybe even get three of these colonies going at once. And I want that extra diplomatic reputation. Even once Katsina is inside of us, and that's still due to take a while, we have Dahomey to chew through with all their increased coring cost. So, whilst we wait, what do we do? We may as well get our claims on you, because I do want you finished off. As for you, at least Spain doesn't have any particularly large CBs on us. In fact, do they have any? They have Holy War on us. Okay, so forget that then. They have all the reason they want to fight us, may as well make some claims while we're at it, just in case they go, do go nuts on us. But, the one thing that uh, they'll likely underestimate is the fact that we now have decent military technology. Heck, it could be better than theirs if we wanted it to be. But I am miserly with my points, and miserly I shall likely always remain. Yes. 
<laughs> development cost reduction, that is lovely. It is really tempting to turn the Cape into some kind of, I don't know, super province. But the trouble with Africa, one of its many troubles is, uh, yeah, tropical is not good for developing, arid is not good for developing, jungle is not good for developing, savanna isn't great for developing, desert is horrible for developing. Did I mention the steppes? The steppes are also not good for developing. Hills are not good for developing. Jungle is not good for... Yeah, it's just not the best place for development. The one saving grace we have is the cape. And maybe, just maybe, this place, but it's, uh, it's also tropical. Never thought about these islands, but their coastline, which is like 25% extra cost. No, really the best area to develop is like the Cape and uh, Egyptian land. Or at least it's part of Egyptian, but ah well. People are saying reform your government now. I really want to. Sadly, I need three stability and some spare Edmund points to boot. But we will do that because we want the better government types. I mean, being a Sultanate is pretty good, but... Ugh. Ugh, is all I can really say to that. These all have bad effects tied with them. Sure, at least the one thing we do have plenty of is the monies. I think we already built our trade buildings and all our important centers of trade. How about you there? You have a temple, that's great and all, but I think it would be better if you had the marketplace. Surprised you didn't build the marketplace to begin with. And you there, also. Make with the marketplace. Yeah, all is fairly well. Jake, did you westernize? Yes, we are fully western. Another painful endeavor for our country, but we did it. Also, our prestige is... banging to the point where... Okay, Katsina won't want to get integrated anymore now that they're at 51 Liberty Desire. At the push of a button, costs us 20 prestige, but I mean, ugh, we're losing prestige anyway, so why not? We shall placate their local rulers. I'll keep them on our good side for a while more. Yeah, upping my diplomatic technology would be more uh, more of a worthwhile pursuit, one could even say, but I'm happy enough with the way things are now. What would make me even happier, however, are a few light ships. Actually, you know what? We'll even make a template for them. We'll call it Three Light Ships. I like to think there's a certain elegance to that name. Hmm, Carvels are actually really close. Forget it, we'll wait until we have the Carvels. Let's be really stingy. And you know what, we're not even going to tech up that much until we get our, uh, our ideas on the go. Annex and Katsina's doing a number on this. I really hope that our current ruler lives a long time, and that our heir dies. I hope for lots of things. Jake building light ships, what is the world coming to? Well, maybe you didn't notice, but uh, the trade power you get from provinces has been uh, severely nerfed. This estuary is worth 10. This important center of trade is worth 10. It's not as much as it used to be, and it's based on all of your development here. You know what? We are rolling in the money. It would probably be worth my time to set up another colony. Like if I just ditch you and make another one? Trouble is, it would need more people to look after it. Unless, of course, I killed the natives, but killing natives costs... Fair chunk of uh, points. And none of these are particularly uh, great provinces, unlike these ones, which are great. 441, 441. It's no cape. 771 is that started. Alright, you know what? I'm even convincing myself here. 4,000 infantry should be more than enough to deal with that. And that will speed up your integration even further. 
And when I build more troops, that'll dampen your liberty desire as well. Actually, I should almost be scared at how fast you're going to be integrated now. Let's get you down there. And while we're at it, pull you out. Sure enough, the natives don't like that, but... Pa! That's all I can say to that. Jake Barks will give a nice chunk of manpower and a handful of your provinces. Yes, it would. And I could really do with that, couldn't I? Ugh, where am I even looking? Barracks. I think if it gives me 500 or more, it's a worthwhile investment. And you know, one of the best investments I can really go for. I forget, does the terrain increase building cost as well? Of course it would! Why wouldn't it increase building cost? But that's alright, we took economics, so it's slightly cheaper anyway. Let's say if it gives more than 300, it's a worthwhile investment. Maybe my standards are too high? I don't want to lower my standards to 250. But it looks like I may have to. Alright, and that's as good as you get. Oh, bear in mind that we also captured Sautom. We will be culture converting that, but maybe not just yet, because dip points are uh, extremely important. Ndongo gives 375. Really? Clearly I am blind. Turn Metawa into a city. Gain an extra bit of production. We don't even know what it produces yet. But I'm thinking, what's its region? South Africa? Is anyone able to check for me what could possibly be made here? I think that's worth our time. We'll turn it into a city. It even gets a uh, cheaper um, development, which would be wonderful. But it's jungle, so ugh to that. Alright, as soon as Matt's solo becomes ours, hopefully they don't rise up as soon as possible, like at the turn of this month. That would be horrible. Good, they do not. And even if they did, they would have to siege it down. Just gonna re return you to here. And I am still wanting that piety of mine down low so that I can tech up cheaper. Might cost me a bit of prestige, but sure, we need to safeguard the realm. We'll be getting some of the cheapest dip tech around. Happy days. There's not going to be much excitement this early on, unfortunately, if you are a thrill seeker. There's a way to kill Spain, but we don't have... Uh, we don't have the boats for that just yet. Jake, start fabricating on Mutapa. Forgot that was even possible. Check all that gold that would look a lot better inside us. I wonder, these guys count as primitives now? They are tribal and animist. Will I get a Cassus Belly on them when I finish off exploration? If I do, that's a good point at which to attack them. That would be something I could really get behind. Okay, I know we still don't really have the manpower for it, but there shall be more troops. Hate rocking no manpower, but really, what is happening? We're just sitting back, praying to get some better uh, better tech for a while. All the while, fabricating more claims to commit more adminocide. Probably, yeah, the rest of these we're just going to take and core the good old-fashioned way. Some good dip rep for someone that doesn't have any ideas in it. You'll be done in six years. Provided you don't uh, get uppity. Yeah, you won't. Tempting, very tempting, but we don't need excess mill points at this moment. Not yet, at least. Jake, it only gives you CB on Native American nations. And they are not considered primitive. That's a shame. 
Someone's also asking about who's that in Albania. That would be Montenegro. Sautom. Benign neglect. The Englishmen are probably happier under our rule. So the question is, what do we do with them? Frankly, we don't get anything from it. These all suck. Eh, draft them then. Jake, you're almost at your milkcap. I know. I was kind of hoping I'd get another uh, buff to that, though. Don't you worry, girly. I am fully aware. Truce with Mali and Joloff is considerably longer than I had thought. And there's Messina. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and eat up Yeo. I'm sure we went over it before, but does Yeo get any um, increased core creation cost ideas? Otherwise, I'll just eat them up now. An excellent use of our admin points to get bigger and stronger. Someone is also considering that we should develop the cape. Yeah. I mean, I would love to have a big strong cape, unfortunately. We need that. South African musketeers, huh? I'm all about offensive fire right now. Because I doubt Yeo is going to stand up to this. Jake, reform your government. Also on the to-do list. This might surprise you, but I have rather a few things on my to-do list. Okay, Metwa getting slaves. I forget, are slaves worthless or not? They're good. I'm going to be glad to get that extra production there. Get the money and the yayo. Only then can you get the marriageable women. Okay. Claim it all, take it all. Who's going to stop us anyway? It's more or less become my phrase when I'm in Sweden. Who is going to stop me? Everyone here is too polite. I think Mali is just a little bit too big to be consumed in the patented one-shot method. 107%. I think even if I claim Yoma... Hmm... It's not impossible. I could get a nice... reduction by making the war for Yoma. In fact, I hope they have no autonomy anywhere. Now they do have a bit... But autonomy's in influence on this has been further reduced. There's a chance, a slight chance, that I could one-shot you. Oh jeez, even Morocco wants a piece of this? Okay, well surely Morocco will become someone I can rival at the turn of the month. Oh, I already rivaled them. I'm having a stupid here right now. Yeah, once we have our people free again, we'll show them what we think of them. What'll be even better is that uh, hopefully we'll be at war when we have Katsina integrated, so we will get their troops. Jake, did you illegalize slavery to get a reroll for gold? No, we got gold in the patented one-shot method. I'm pretty happy about that. Also, why am I paying my troops? Why am I doing anything in this game? How did I forget all my get good? Right, we need to throw down the embargo on our rivals. They won't act on it, they're too scared. We ourselves... just embargoing Morocco, right. We'll be ready for more soon. Yeah, I mean really, what are these guys gonna do to me? Sail over and conquer me? I don't think so. They don't have the Gahonis, although I don't have the allies. It's a shame no big European wants to be my friend. Great Britain would actually be uh, kind of nice. Well, that's if they still have a fleet. Okay, the Ottomans naturally are near the top. Oh, the French fleet is probably better than the British one. Oh, and the British probably aren't very happy because we own their core province. Maybe I really should get to culture converting that. It only costs 30. 
and it'll be done really soon. That might be what we need to get Great Britain on our side, actually. So once we throw down these uh, embargoes... I have even forgotten where Borno is. Oh, it's actually a fairly important province to have, looking pretty good. But there was nothing we can do. I'm not going to spend money on you. Yeah, we'll throw down our embargoes. I mean, we need to keep the Ivory Coast fairly clean. All this power that we have in the Ivory Coast and more gets sucked out of it than what we can actually harness. Life can be ugly. 5.09 going out and we only get 3.7 here. It's a hard life and that's just Portugal transferring. I would like Portugal to be annexed, please. I forgot what else was I doing. I think Morocco is more than due an insult. Gotta get that PP up. Nothing gets my PP up quite like throwing insults. And let's get that piety dead low. Could even standardize caliber. Why not? There's a case to be made for getting our uh, tech up, but I do also want to develop. I keep getting the uh, recommendation that I should build heavies and wreck Spain. Well, I disagree, but I, s I at least want to get some Cadex and preferably some Galleons for that. I might focus hard on Diptech, which will be hard with our obscenely retarded air on the way. I'm forgetting something, haven't I? Is it more, more claims? More claims are good. Prestige is also good. Lots of good things. Jake, you have admin points. Reform your government. People are so keen on this, but you realize I'd have to get up to stab three, then reform my government, then I lose 200 admin and five stability, forcing me to stab up again. So, let's just run some quick numbers here. Let's say it's 100 per stab. Uh, oh, actually, I'd need like 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900. Let's say it's going to cost me 900 admin to do that. So, yeah, get back to me when I have 900 admin. How's Mongolia faring? Now there's a pertinent question. Mongolia is not faring so well. They even lost a good chunk of their cores. Never heard of these Kalaka guys, but they're not doing so hot. And our beloved uh, Sari Gyogir. Wow, eliminated entirely. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong province, that's why. Not long to be eliminated completely though. Tragic times. Right, one last claim on you for your Kotoko. And they got everything nicely developed here. Six times, six times, five times. I'll take it all. Jake, no point with government reforms until you can actually become a decent monarchy or preferably a republic. Tribal federation bonuses are better than feudal monarchy bonuses. Yeah, but it's just like force limit and manpower, really. Speaking of, I do want a nice big standing army, just for vanity's sake. Call it my vanity army. We'll get that last claim down, and then it's off to war. Hmm, nice. Now, I hate to give France a casus belly on me. There really is no need. It's not like an embargo would do any good against them anyway. Hmm. There's one province in Brazil that I would quite like because Brazil actually feeds us 
quite a chunk actually, that's nice. We're transferring a good chunk of that. Now if we can grab this important center of trade and use it to use a, get our boats forwarding the trade over. Heck, maybe if, if we get both of them. That would uh, make our ivory tower even better. The trouble is there is always going to be there are always going to be Europeans sucking our trade out because of all that power. A bonus just for being European. Truly disgusting. Okay, welcome to the world of band. Ah. Happy days, it's just nice and relaxed here. And also you need to die entirely. I wonder if I can leave that entirely up to my vassals. Hmm, probably best not to risk it. We'll just flatten them and siege them up. Jake, maybe you should point out the ways that Europeans are babby and that mighty Loango should be allowed to keep his shackles. Actually, it's kind of nice to have um, things go harder. Also, a stack of six pirates are enough to do that much damage to our trade node. It's horrible. And what's even worse, it must be giving them PP because we're their rival. We can deal with this if we had heavies, but I don't have heavies. So, we're just going to have to deal with it. Man, they have quite the fleet, don't they? I need to build myself my own vanity fleet, but again, I need the tech, and it's just, ugh. Nothing really works to my favor there, still. The war must go on, and it decreases our piety further, just what I'm after. Uh, frankly, I want it all. It doesn't really matter what the, uh, the war is for. Hope there was no reason I wanted to be at peace here. Remember, capital forts, they don't stop you at all. Hope you weren't attached to existing. May as well just hang around looting these lands. I know they're going to be mine, but it's not like they're going to give me much when, they, uh, when they're integrated anyway. I will not, however... Increase autonomy. I'll probably decrease autonomy to make them more worthwhile quicker. That's just how I'm rolling. Jake used pirates to snipe them and their treasure fleets. Oh my. Just the wrong one to get the bonus on, but oh no, Matt Solo already is the four development. Holy smokes. This kind of gold income is going to completely debase my currency. Glad we got economic ideas, but uh, it's not doing everything here. And that was the end of you. Let's just increase that inflation further, because frankly... Oh yeah, I'm getting rid of your cores as well, so there's no chance of a larger uprising. And anything I can do to grab a bit of extra prestige. That was the end of you. Thank you kindly for in... Upgrading these provinces and yeah.